Today's devotional, we are continuing in our series, How to Enjoy Your Life. At the weekend, Robert talked about how busy our lives are and the need for a day of rest, a day of Sabbath, a day where we, we pause on most everything and we do things that restore our soul, that rejuvenate us. And in the busyness of our lives, I cannot think of a more busy place than right here. Our minds are probably the busiest out of anything that we could probably think of. Thoughts racing throughout the day and sometimes into the night. And so my question for us today is, do you think about what you think about? Paul encourages us to do that. And so our verses today are from Romans 12. We're going to mostly focus on verse 2, but I can't help but also read verse 1. So Romans 12 verse 1 says this, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Then verse two, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So, do not conform to the pattern of this world, says Paul. Easier said than done, okay? Conforming, when I think of the word conform, I think like it, it naturally kind of happens. You're kind of going with the flow. You're in step or in stride with whatever is going on around you. But Paul says, don't conform to the pattern of this world. Don't be like the world that focuses very much on me, what I want and I want it now. And if I don't like what I have, then I'm going to replace it with something bigger and better. And if that didn't satisfy, then I'm going to keep on changing until I find what it is I want. That is the pattern of this world, whether it's a car, a house, a relationship. Paul says, don't conform to this pattern, but instead be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The word transformed here is the same word that we use for metamorphosis. In Greek, it's metamorpho. And if you think about the word metamorphosis, the, the, it's not just a little change. It's not just a slight deviation from the path. This is going against the flow. I was a caterpillar, now I'm a butterfly. That is metamorphosis, that is transformation. And so how do we go against the flow of the pattern of this world? Well, Paul says we do this by renewing our minds. Instead of thinking about what the world wants and what the world offers, we think about what God wants and what God offers. We put his truth in our minds. In another letter to the church in Philippi, Paul writes this, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. Do you think about what you think about? If you don't, then my guess is that many of your days, your thoughts kind of rule you. And if your thoughts rule you, then it affects your moods and your attitude. Our thoughts are very powerful. And if we don't think about what we think about, then we are heading in a path where we are then just kind of conforming. We're kind of just going with the flow. But Paul says in Corinthians to take each thought captive and, and make them submit to Jesus. And what, what he's saying really there is, first, think about what you're thinking about. And think about, is this thought admirable, lovely, excellent, praiseworthy, all the things we just mentioned? And, and if it's not, then here's what we do. We don't go, oh, I'm not going to think about that. I'm not going to think about that. Because you know what we're doing? We're thinking about it, right? So what we have to do is we have to replace the thought. If there's something negative, if there's something worrying, if, there, if we're not getting the proper perspective because we're not thinking God's ways, we're not thinking God's thoughts, then we start to spiral. So in order to stop the spiral, we carefully consider what it is we're thinking on. And what is the root of this thought? And is this thought true or false? And we know whether it's true or false because we measure it against what God says. And then if it's false, then we must replace it with the truth. And so sometimes this takes effort 
right? Remember to conform was easy. It's easy to go with the flow, but to be transformed takes energy. It takes effort. And so we ask God, God, help us with this thought right now. Would you help me replace it with what is true and what is right and what is lovely and what is admirable and what is noble and whatever is excellent and praiseworthy. One of the best tricks that I have learned when I'm dealing with negative thoughts or where my mind is kind of spiraling out of control is to start thinking about what I'm grateful for. When I start thanking God for what I have rather than obsess maybe over what I don't have or what I think might happen in the future, I can start to bring back into perspective all the good things that I have in my life and that helps me. So if we no longer conform to the pattern of this world, no longer go with the thoughts that we've been given as we've grown up or the thoughts of the people around us, the patterns that they live, if we choose to live differently, we have to do it with God's strength and God's power because it's not easy. And so we ask God, God, help us today. Help us to take control of our thoughts that our attitudes and our mood might reflect you and that our thoughts would lead to great actions, which would then become a wonderful character, which would give us an incredible destiny. Let's pray. God, I thank you for this word today. Help us to not conform to the pattern of this world, but instead be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Show us what that even means, God. Help us to see your truth and replace the lies that we're believing. Help us to think about what we're thinking about in so doing that we might live lives of joy, that our attitudes might be pleasing to you and that our actions would honor you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great day.